Okay, so this time, let's have a calculator exercise. With the aid of the calculator, generate the Gauss-Seidel solution to the system shown. The system presented in this calculator exercise is the same as the one presented in the sample problem that involves uh, Gauss-Seidel and Jacobi's method. Okay, so in that uh, sample problem, we were able to generate this table of, or, or this tabular solution. And the approximate values in five iterations are the following. But before going to the calculator, uh, let us assign the variable u, v, w, and x into a letter that is available in the calculator. Okay, so let's assign u as equal to a, and then v is equal to b, and then w is equal to c and x is equal to d, such that whenever we encode the variable u in terms of v and w, we will be encoding that as a is equal to 7 plus um, b minus 2c all over 4. And the same with the other equations. Okay? So let us open the Android-based calculator, and then let us now uh, input or type the equation in terms of um, a, b, c, and d. For the first equation, we have a is equal to, so we have alpha a is equal to, and then 7 plus v, but v is equal to b, so we input alpha b, then minus 2w, but w is equal to c, so let's input alpha c over 4. And then, ang trick dito is that we'll make use of this colon na function of the calculator. So, if your calculator has no colon function, uh, that means that this exercise is not applicable. Okay, but most scientific calculators has this uh, function. Okay, so let's uh, input the colon symbol. And then, let's type the next equation. So, we have V. But V is uh, denoted by letter B. So we have alpha, alpha B then equals negative uh, 14 minus U. But U is equal to A. Then minus W. W is equal to C. And then plus X. X is equal to D. All over 5. Okay. And then assign again the colon na function or key then let's input the equation w so we have w is equal to c so alpha c is equal to um, 16 minus 2 times u but u is equal to a plus 3 times x and x is equal to d all over 6. Then lastly, let's input the colon uh, function of the calculator and then uh, type the equation for x. So x is equal to d and then that's equal to 30 plus 2 times u but u is equal to a then plus 4 times v but v is equal to b all over 8. Okay? And then once uh, na-input na natin yung equations, we can now press the calc uh, key to uh, suggest to the calculator the initial values of A, B, C, and D. Again, if we have an iteration method, it is advisable to set all values initially to 0. Okay, so let's press calc. Then the calculator will ask you the initial value of B. So let's press 0, then equals. Then it will ask for the initial value of C. So let's press again 0 equals. And for A, 0. And then for D, 0. Then let's just press equal. Kasi na input naman natin yung value ng A to be equivalent to 0. Okay, so let's just press equal. So that means that. Uh, in the first iteration, A is equal to 1.75 and just press equals to get the value of B. So that's equal to negative 3.15 and then press another equal uh, key and then two, C is equal to 2.083. Press another equal to get the value of D which is 2.613. 
then press equal okay then b the calculator will ask what's the next value of b but by default let's um, allow the calculator to use the latest av available value of b okay so we press lang natin yung equals uh, equal key equals key then equal pa rin, equal then equal equal so in the second iteration we find that a is equal to negative 0 0.079 um, B is equal to negative 2.678 C is equal to 3.999 And D is equal to 2.391 Okay And then let's just press equal again Equal Equal Then Equal Then equal Then equal Okay, in the third iteration we have these values Okay Okay, and so on and so forth until you reach the fifth iteration. So this is now the fifth iteration values and we were able to come up with uh, the approximate value which is u is equal to negative 1.027 v is equal to negative 3.009 and w is equal to 3.998 and x is equal to 1.989 but if you continue the iteration process uh, later um parang after let's say 10 iterations um makukuha nyo talaga yung uh, value with a very minimal error okay so that's how you use the calculator by ano um, Gauss-Seidel method